he does that in all of his movies. But um, anyway, my so my my score recommendations for this are um, Beautiful Lie. Oh, also, I had one more one more thing to mention. So this is the first um, entire score in which Hans Zimmer and Junkie XL collaborate um, on the whole score. And in Man of Steel, uh, Junkie XL collaborated with him for a few tracks um, that sort of tease what was coming. They were some of Man of Steel's most bombastic ones. So in this one, they co- they collaborate for the whole thing. And I am so happy to say that Junkie XL is the guy who is coming back to score the entirety of the Snyder Cut. So we'll return to these themes, which is so exciting to me. Um, but anyway, my recommendations, um, Beautiful Lie uh, rolls off the top of the movie. Um, that's the music that plays uh, during the Batman flashback to his childhood when his parents are killed. Um, also, allegedly, A Beautiful Lie shows up in Wonder Woman 84 for some reason, which is great. But I, um, Beautiful Lie is great. Their War Here is a great track that plays during the Metropolis flashback at the start of the movie. Um so we get some Man of Steel stuff thrown in there, which is awesome. Uh, the Red Capes Are Coming is Lex, Luthor, Lex Luthor's theme, which is great. It's got this great bass piano line, and it's actually an inversion of Superman's theme uh, and the Krypton theme, which is just great uh, musical storytelling on Zimmer's part. Um, Black and Blue is the... Uh, I think that's the super, Batman versus Superman actual... Uh, like the music that plays while they fight, which is great. Um, this is my world. Oh my gosh. The end. And that's again, another reason why I l- overlook so many of the flaws at the end of this movie is because I love movie music and Hans Zimmer just really ties it all up in a bow at the end of the movie and incorporates all of these themes that he's been building on for these two movies. And this is my world is so great because it's the music that plays, um, when Clark sacrifices himself and what he does is Zimmer actually uses the same music that plays when uh, Clark and General Zod are like fighting to the death in the first movie um, over this uh, this track here, but he, he slows it way down and makes it super dramatic. And in, in doing so, he turned this theme into like the Kryptonian death theme because it's the song that plays whenever a Kryptonian dies. Um, in the first movie, in Man of Steel, it's like this super exciting electric guitar-like uh, line. And in this movie, it's this like big, slow, dramatic orchestra. Um, and it's so beautiful. In fact, the actual cue that plays when Superman snaps Zod's neck and when he, uh, Superman dies is the exact same, just like slowed down. It's so beautiful. Um, but then, of course, the highlight of the entire soundtrack is... Is she with you? Wonder Woman's theme. That is when Hans Zimmer, I mean, the piano's on fire, the electric cell is on fire, everything's flaming. Uh, and it's just so good. I cannot recommend that track enough. So good, in fact, that uh, Rupert Gregson Williams, who scored Wonder Woman, uh, was like, there's no way I cannot incorporate this into the entire soundtrack. And he does. And he t- turns it into a big, beautiful, heroic theme. But it started with Hans Zimmer and Junkie XL and Batman v Superman and can will continue in Wonder Woman 84. Uh, so excellent score for this movie. I can't recommend it enough. 